people killed in Sudan's capital after troops swoop in to clear protesters calling for end to military rule. A coach from Kowloon Bay International Trade and Exhibition Centre collided with the double-decker bus this morning. The 62-year-old coach driver allegedly ran through a red light. According to passengers, he was arrested by police. Grace Ma reports. More than 10 passengers on the shuttle coach were injured when it collided with the city bus double-decker during the morning rush today. They were sent to hospital, some on stretchers and wearing neck braces. Also hurt were the city bus driver and three commuters. The coach was severely damaged by the collision, with multiple windows shattered. There were no visible skid marks on the road. The force of the impact caused the front of the city bus to cave in. City bus route 107 had departed from Aberdeen at 7 o'clock this morning. When it was about to reach the Kowloon Bay bus terminus, the shuttle coach, which was headed towards Kowloon Bay International Trade and Exhibition Center, crashed into the bus. The incident happened at the junction of Wang Chil Road and Kai Cheng Road, near the auxiliary police headquarters. Some passengers claim to have seen the coach driver run a red light. Police arrested the driver on suspicion of dangerous driving. The accident caused a section of Kai Chung Road to be closed temporarily. This caused a traffic jam that stretched to around 7 kilometers. Grace Ma, HKIBC. Chief Executive Carrie Lam has nubbed a request by members of the Election Committee's legal sector for a bidding over the proposed amendments to extradition laws. Tensions are also rising in the Legislative Council. Democrats are attempting another filibuster by submitting over 250 amendments, hoping to drag out next week's discussion. If there is any uh, desire to sit down and discuss with us that um, we can have a better ways and provisions and arrangements to achieve the due objectives of this uh, particular legislative amendment, and if my personal intervention does help, then of course, as the chief executive in Hong Kong, I would not, I would not turn down that sort of uh, request. Over the course of the government's bid to amend extradition laws, Chief Executive Carrie Lam has struck a conciliatory tone by inviting groups to have a dialogue with her. But an invitation by 30 legal sector members of the powerful election committee, which selects Hong Kong's leader, was turned down today. In a letter to senior counsel Edward Chen, who sits on the committee, the chief executive's office acknowledged the invitation sent last Thursday. But the office said a pragmatic and open platform for discussion already existed at the...